Hey, Ian here and welcome back to Billy Bibobdip. I am making a page turning open source automatic book scanner and today it's finally time to wire up all the components. I have mounted this camera the wrong way around. Let's cut it off. This way, because the USB-C plug has to point in this direction, like in this direction, so I can put the cable through on the shortest path through this cable throughput here. Let's pull the cable ties through and one goes like here and the other one parallel to it. And the other camera will be mounted like this, so that the USB-C port is pointing in this direction towards the back plate. The cable ties go in like this. Okay, so let's see if that works. Let's put in the other one. The USB port is pointing towards that wall because the cable will like wrap around here, there and come back out through this fixture. Let's put the glass back on. Let's mark the center of this and I'll explain you in a minute why. So you need to have some way to get the books off of the machine. So in the top here there will be a USB plug, this one. It's on this surface for a specific reason. Uh, let me explain. If you are like me, then you have your USB stick on your keychain. Actually I have multiple on here. Uh, and this is a is practical, but if you plug it into a vertical surface, then the whole key hangs on your USB port. And I don't like that. And this is why I will put the USB port in here, so my whole keychain has a place to rest next to the USB port. And this one is the one that's going to go in. Let's drill that. This is a 23 millimeter drill that I bought specifically for Neutrik USB plugs. That's not fun. Let's pre-drill the thickness of this tip here for less pressure. I think that battery needs a recharging. Let's come back later. I have charged the battery about 10 more minutes. Let's see if that works now. Mm. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, now the green one. Right now I am soldering on extensions to the short cables of the turbo motor because they are not long enough as they were. And I didn't found sufficiently thick gray cables so I'll use black. Okay, now that's great. Okay, third try. Hopefully the battery lasts this time for this single hole.
that sounded like a lot of tear out. It's not even that bad. And it's not visible. Let's see what kind of screws I need for this. Three millimeter diameter maximum. Now that the USB plug is in, I can show you this feature. If I now plug in my USB stick to offload the images, then my keychain rests nicely next to it on the surface and it's not dangling anywhere or putting any pressure on the USB plug. Let's mount the small flutter fan on here. I will use small 25 by 12 screws for that. Great. Let's take off this part to mount the button. I want to quickly get rid of the sawdust that occurred when I drilled the USB plug here. Okay, let's put this back on. One air pump, second air pump, power supply cable for the touchscreen, power supply cable for the Odroid, HDMI cable for the touchscreen, the Odroid, the Arduino with the motor shield, the relay board, and the air pressure sensor. Let's see what side blows and what sucks. I guess this sucks and this blows. But let's check this. Pretty clear. So the top tube is uh, for sucking. Let's hook this up like this. And the other tube, the lower tube, is for blowing. Let's hook this up as well. Like this. And now let's think of a way to where to put these inside of this, because these two are the biggest two units. Maybe like this, but with a shorter tube. Yeah, I guess if I shave off this much, Take off this much of the tube, this should work. I have one left over of these corner brackets and I want to put it in this corner in here because I believe that that's a good idea. This small piece goes behind here to keep this from sliding away and this should be sufficient for the beginning to do some tests with this machine. Not perfect, but good enough for a first prototype. Surely I will redesign all the holdings for the parts but right now I just want to put all of them in there somehow without worrying too much about the details because as soon as I know one configuration that fits I can optimize it, draw it in CAD and make nice and fine mounts and not uh, crap like this. But just to test the concept, that should do. Let's label everything nicely. This pump goes right next to it here. Nice and compact. So let's see what tube length I need here. 
Let's keep it a bit long. We can always put it out later on. That's a bit excessive. Let's label the second one. So, let me show you what else has to go in here. Okay, the relay board hooks up to four things. The pump for sucking, the pump for blowing, the flutter fan and the light. Next thing that goes in here is an Arduino with the stepper driver board. The stepper driver board hooks up to the stepper motor that I lengthened the wire on earlier. Then the O-Droid with its power supply unit goes in there. And then a USB 3 hub connects to the O-Droid. One camera connects to the hub, the other camera connects to the O-Droid directly. So the touchscreen hooks up with this micro USB cable and an HDMI cable for the screen part of the touchscreen. So these are the two cables that hook up onto the O-Droid. What else goes in here? Yes. The 12 volt PSU to generate power for the flutter fan and for the driver of the server motor. I want to have a good place to wire the 230 volt dangerous parts in. And I think putting a small plastic housing here is actually a good idea. So let's mount this. And then see whether it actually fits. Let's move this out of the way. Yes, looks good. Looks as if this fits. Okay. I think I can start to wire up the 230 volt stuff. Let's hook up the network port. This plugs in here, and the other end plugs in here. I guess this was already a pretty long episode, so thanks for watching. I will release part two of the wiring next Thursday. And if you just made your way into this series, thanks for watching. This is just one part of a longer series where I show all the steps how to make the page turning bush scanner Leverflip. This project is supported by Wikimedia and by Seabase. Thanks for the help.